This is the Dick Pick by Wingard Wearables. Zach Wingard of Wingard Wearables, the genius behind all of these cool wearable weapons slash tools, uh, sent this to me in appreciation and man alive, do I appreciate it. I have been wanting one of these for a long time. I, I always seem to miss the drop or not be ready to buy or whatever. And uh, either he read my mind or I talked about it so much about how I want one of these. And he sent this, but he not only sent this to me, but he sent this also. Uh, here's the mini dick pic. And uh, this is for Jim. Um, Jim, producer of this uh, channel and the um, podcast, has a um, ice pick collection. And Zach knows that, so he sent this along for Jim for his ice pick collection, which I think is totally cool. Uh, very, very nice, very generous. Um, let's talk about this for a quick sec. Uh, here's the sheath. First of all, I took the, uh, all, all of the Wingard wearable sheaths have this um, stretchy cord with these alligator clips, and they are great, especially for the tomahawks in my opinion. Uh, but for something like this, I knew I was gonna either put this in the pocket or in the waistband somehow. So I put a DCC clip on here, discreet carry concepts clip. And um, and I've been using it this way since I'm here. I also am going to um, file out a little more of a notch here so I can drop this all the way in the pocket and then use the little hook that is created from, that, from continuing this notch uh, to disengage against the seam of the pocket. The sheath, uh, lastly, is ambidextrous, so it can go in this way equally as well as that way, which is super handy on something like this because uh, this top portion is a bit sharp, so you might need to reposition it uh, depending on how you carry it, but, that, but it, that will not require your changing the orientation of the clip, which is cool. So this one is made of 420, stainless here let's now uh, here it is the dick pick by wingard wearables um the dick pick packs picking piercing prying and percussive impact into a single item that you can comfortably carry sorry comfortably carry comfortably carry period <laughs> your dick pick was designed water jet cut hand filed heat treated and finished in pennsylvania it is made from quarter inch thick 420 stainless steel and is hardened to 50 Rockwell C for toughness. Be edgy. So 420 stainless steel, 420 bro, stainless steel. And uh, I have no doubt this is going to take care of a lot of different tasks. I've been carrying it a few days now. And uh, what strikes me actually is this little hammer pull. Uh, you got to hammer what I actually I have in the kitchen one little nail I have to hammer to hang this little sign and I'm going to use this and see how it works. I've just decided. Uh, but you also have this cool curved prying um, lever here that works as a handle. If you're going to use this in a pokey way um, or a scratchy, you know, piercing or or whatever kind of way, this is a great handle, but it's also excellent for prying stuff up. You know, people carry around pry bars, little uh, mini pry bars with them, designer boutique pry bars. And uh, I submit that if you're gonna carry a boutique pry bar, it should be a Wingard Wearables dick pic uh, or mini dick pic or mega, is it mega? No, no, it's Magnum dick pic. Uh, which is obviously like this, but much larger and black. And uh, it's got a twisted um, twisted haft. It's really cool. And it fits in a big uh, sheath that took some some doing and some R&D. It's a, it's a cool sheath. Check it out. I won't spoil it for you. Uh, but here, this, this prying handle part comes to a pretty damn sharp edge, I got to say. So if you're holding this like this, of course, everything to me, uh, I think first as a weapon, and this is my preferred grip for this uh, implement as a weapon because it gives you, uh, I mean, you can maintain a, a normal fist, 
But of course, I would keep my thumb there just to make sure that this doesn't roll. Uh, but the fact that this is flat also helps it from rolling in the hand. But great for punching. Oh my gosh. I have hit a uh, lot of cardboard. Uh, we have all these big cardboard recycling boxes around the office. And I'll, <laughs> I'll sort of surreptitiously uh, test blades in it, walk by it, and it's psh. Uh, so all of our recycling bins have a bunch of holes in them. Uh, but this was great because this is great to punch it with. Boom. And I know cardboard isn't flesh, but I have no doubt this would be very painful to be punched with. And then, of course, if that doesn't work, you have this long, tapering, horrifying spike down. Horrifyingly useful spike down here. Useful for what? That's up to you. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, like Zach says, these are like extended fingers. Uh, Zach uh, Wingard does design weapons, and I know that weapon was in the calculus of creating this, but this for him is a wearable tool that you have on you at all times for many, many different purposes. Uh, but let's, let's face it, these purposes uh, really scream out to you. Uh, let's look at the mini dick pick. Now this is gonna go to Jim and it's gonna go in his ice pick collection. And by the way, I think it's super cool that Jim has an ice pick collection. He's, uh, if, if you first meet him, you think he's such a mild mannered gentleman and he is a gentleman and he can be mild and he is mostly mild mannered, uh, but he's terrifying when he's not. Uh, and to think of him with an ice pick, uh, well, I like that. That's a good image for him. Wingard wearables, beautiful logo. Uh, this is emulating their, they make a little micro pike. That's like a tiny wearable spear. That's kind of cool. Uh, but this is actually even easier to drop in the pocket and um, carry around with you than the, than the regular dick pic. And here, <laughs> if you're gonna be using it in a way, oh my gosh, you can hide it right there. Hey, you, mm, get out of my way. You know, whatever you're doing, I don't know how, how it would go down that you're poking someone in the shoulder with your finger or the chest or the throat, but this hides what you're doing nicely. Um, if you were to be like that, and I'm not that guy, uh, but I can imagine that guy and, you know, uh, a righteous guy who needs this to fight bad guys uh, could use this in that way. You know, kind of hide it in the hand. Hey, how you doing? Boom. Hey, what's going on? Hey. <laughs> and then same thing, you can, you can use this, uh, to punch with here or to hammer fist with that nasty, it's like holding a nail. I mean, this is really, really, really a nasty tip here. I'll show you this. Too easy, too easy. Let me, let me try something. All right, you like this? You're like, hey buddy, it's over there. Oh, I mean, oh, I mean, it's really nasty. Sorry, I, that's probably not why you're buying it, but I'm realizing holding this, that the way that you can hide it with your finger, I mean, that's just terrifying. Uh, but most likely you'll be using this to take out your SIM card and to, and to scrape stuff and to, you know, put, take staples out and to, to, to carburate a can if you're pouring out oil or something. This is great for all that stuff. Of course, uh, you know, you're, if, if you need it, to defend yourself, it would be incredible, but uh, this is just an all around tool and it's so simple. Beautiful. Now this one, I'm gonna read this real quick. Um, micro dick pick uh, made from 3 16 thick AEBL stainless steel and hardened to 55 Rockwell, uh, only at this, uh, only at Wingard wearables. This compact tool provides multiple utility functions, carry options and versatile grips your micro dick pick was designed, water cut, hand filed, heat treated, and finished in Pennsylvania. Be edgy. Very, very cool. So thank you so much, Zach, for these. Uh, so appreciated. It's so beautiful. Uh, I have to hand this over to Jim now. Now that I've done this video, that was my big excuse for holding on to it. But now I have no excuse. Uh, the only other Wingard wearables I have in the room are these two because my other Tomahawks are upstairs doing 
hidden security duty, just in case someone pushes their way in, they get a Wingard wearables in the face. Uh, but here's a back ripper. This lives on my desk down here. Very sharp blade and very sharp hooked downward, uh, downward turned hook, sharp on the inside. And that, that curve there, this curve, is so that with the sheaths on it, it contours to your body and you can drop it in the waistband. Um, uh, I, I'm not as comfortable doing that, so I actually will frequently, I travel with this all the time. Uh, I'll bring this to Blade Show for sure. This is like my travel, one of my travel self-defense weapons, uh, but also um, I'll put it in my backpack. Uh, but in the pants, I would get the smaller version. There's a smaller version of it. Uh, and then here is the quill. There are awesome other little pokey, um, not only self-defense weapon, bang, uh, but staple holder, a coffee cup carburetor, tire popper. I mean, whatever you need this thing for. And I put a, some jute cord on there. I do love the, the feel and look of jute cord. So uh, Wingard wearables making such cool stuff. Uh, handmade and all made here in the United States. Most of it in Pennsylvania where he resides. Uh, but do go check this out. This is the Wingard wearables dick pic and the micro dick pic. Thanks for watching.